Art makes me happy, and you know me. I'm I'm an artist. Like people can say that I'm not, because you know they're like, well, you're not a, really an artist because you don't you don't sell art all the time. Like you, your stuff's not in a gallery all the time. If people love your art, they love your art. And for me, it's hard because my art <laughs> isn't necessarily what people want in their homes. I guess you could say. My family was a little bit skeptical on my art because they're like, well, you're so much smarter, you could do something else than that. And before I really wanted to be an artist, I wanted to do paleontology. On a day-to-day -day basis, it's usually waking up, going to work, if I have to work. Um, if I don't, I usually sleep in, usually sometimes till like 2 in the afternoon. I try to get up early because I, I know for a fact I shouldn't be sleeping that late in the afternoon. Um, you know, eat, check, check Facebook, check YouTube and all that kind of stuff. And I don't really do too much considering just right now because it's winter. When it's summer I do like to go outside more. I like to go for walks and all that kind of stuff. Um, and usually sometimes when I'm watching TV I'll I'll be drawing, or I'll just be reading, or playing on my phone. My day job, I work at as a, an assistant cook at Birdie's Fine Casual Dining. Um, so basically, uh, I do cook, I do build the dishes and, and everything like that. It's actually a really cool experience because I didn't need experience to get this job. Um, my boss came to me, surprisingly, she saw my resume. Basically, I took the number two. Simple enough. And then I was like, well, what if I do this? Oh, okay. Well, let's ooh, squiggle. And we'll fix off the squiggle. And then, okay, let's give it some eyes. I'll really do it as a kid because why not? You know, in its arms. And go there. Tongue. That's, that's basically how it became. And that's how I started drawing, was just that, that little thing. As of right now, I'm basically just enjoying art for, you know, what for what it is, which is just something that I've always loved doing. My childhood wasn't, uh, wasn't bad at all, really. Um, I guess the only people would say that it was, I guess, bad was just because, uh, it was just me and my mom, you know, single mother. Um... <clears throat> You know, I got to do I got to do everything a normal kid could do. Um, probably one of the most amazing things that I got to see as a kid was when I was living in a place called Orno. I actually got to experience the Northern Lights, and it was really cool because like my my friend and I we were playing out on our on my lawn, and we just happened to look up at the sky and we just saw this this twist of uh, of red, and we looked at it and we're like. Oh my god, what is that? And my friend automatically goes, Oh my god, maybe it's the end of the world. And it turns out it was actually the Northern Lights, which don't happen in like every 14, 15 some odd years, depending on how situations are. And so uh, I think that was one thing that really inspired me to get more into art is because it was something so natural. I can I can just remember around that time, that's when I started doing those those dinosaur things more. And, you know, I think maybe that was like a way of, I don't know, a weird way of the universe going, hey, look, look at all the color that can happen in just random circumstances. Well, I've had, I had one other name before. I had Sugar Skull Studios, and it was called Orchid Studios. And it was okay for a while, but then I, it just didn't really feel like me. Like, I do love orchids, because I love flowers, but... It didn't sit right. So I thought, okay, well, let's see here. What's something that I like? Well, I like dinosaurs. Well, that's not gonna work. Well, I like space. It's still not gonna work. I want something that really kind of goes off. And then I thought of Sugar Skulls, which I've always loved. So, okay, Sugar Skull Studios. That works. I've had that name for, I think, three years now. As of right now, I'm just kind of 
just living, I guess you could say. It's nothing exciting. Um, I just go on day to day, you know, I, I draw a little bit here, draw a little bit there. Sometimes I don't draw at all just because I don't have that drive. And, uh, you know, it is a little harder not, ironically, not being in school because, you know, I have projects. I need to do those. I need to get good grades. So that's why when I hear people going, oh, I hate school so much, I'm like, trust me, you will miss school. There is a lot of older people. So, I mean, they're not necessarily going to like everything that I've done, but, you know, I'll still get compliments from them. Going, oh my god, it's so pretty, it's so colorful, oh, I recognize that girl, like, you know, it's, it's still a really nice feeling because not very often do you get, like, elderly people going, oh, I really like your work, you know, because these days they think, you know, us as millennials are all lazy kind of people. If I'm going to try and get anywhere with art, <sighs> Belleville's not going to be the place to do it. It would be Toronto. It would be the bigger cities where there's more variety of art. I've done tattooing, I've done photography, I've done oil, water, acrylic, uh, woodcuts, I've done prints, you know, skull art, flower art, clothing. I also do personas because, you know, there's a lot of them. <laughs> Like, everybody, everybody lo has a furry, in my opinion. Like, I've basically touched on every little thing possible. It's a really great thing to have. And so when you go up onto the actual website, you know, rayjohn.com slash sugarskull, you'll come up to my page. And then you can just scroll through all the shirt designs that I've put up. And it tells you all the people who've liked it, or super liked it, or favorite it. And hopefully, I'm hoping at some point people will actually start buying it once they, you know, once they see it. So, I'm basically just playing a waiting game. Everything that I've used for art is from the dollar store from a cheaper way. And I just make do with what I have. And so far, people love it. So eventually, I'll get good supplies and good canvases and good brushes and, and what have you. And I mean, yeah, that might make things better, it might make my art more vibrant, but if I can do this with just cheap stuff, then I know I can do it with more professional stuff. It's just right now, cheap stuff is all that I can afford. You know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm literally the starving artist. Art has always been there for me. Like, even when I've been sad, I remember drawing, and, you know, eventually my family kind of realized that my art is really good because I have total strangers coming up to me and saying this is fantastic like your artwork is amazing like how did you do it what'd you do I said I just I went to college for a year I took an art and design course and it just improved my art like 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 so much and I really hope that you know in Loyalist that they do eventually come out with a second year of art and design program because I would go back in a heartbeat I'll probably always do it, even if I don't get anywhere at all in life with my art. I'll always enjoy it, and it'll always be, you know, even if it ends up being a hobby for me, that's fine. Like, at this point, I'm at the point where it's like, I'm, tr I'm doing as much as I can to make a name for myself, but I have to also think that, you know, how things are going in the world in general, that it might take a lot longer.